In this quick tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to export an output file generated by SPSS uh, as PDF. Uh, I should say that I am using IBM SPSS uh, 2.0 for Mac. Close this. Uh, and here I could eventually um, select parts of my output or I can export uh, everything uh, that I have in my output. I'll explain both ways. Uh, let's for the, just for the sake of this example say that I want to export this um, portion of the output. <coughs> Excuse me. You would go to uh, File after you select it, Export, and then on the very top of this window here you can select uh, what you want to export uh, or the objects to, to export all. Uh, meaning you will export everything that you have on your output right now uh, or just select it. In this case I just want the selected portion. And let me move this out of the way. Uh, next uh, next uh, frame here, window, uh, uh, panel I should say, um, you can select uh, uh, the file per se uh, or the format of the file that you want to export that document, uh, the, the output I should say. Um, in this case, it's going to be PDF, so I'm going to select PDF. Um, another important part here is to uh, select uh, the path of where uh, the file will be saved. Sometimes it is uh, predetermined by uh, SPSS in this case. Um, let's see here, my username, uh, courses, uh, that's basically uh, the path of a particular f uh, folder that I have in my computer. If you want to uh, save it uh, in a different place, just click Browse. Um, in the, my case here, uh, I'm going to use, I'm going to click uh, Macintosh HD, and then Users, find my user. And then here I can uh, say, uh, it will be much easier to just save on my desktop. So I'm going to save my desktop. Of course, I have to give a name to it. So in that case, it's going to be Test1. Um, desktop, I should say click save and uh, I think that's pretty much it. Click OK. And it tells me that it is exporting. Once it's done, it should be uh, on your desktop. Uh, thanks for watching.